Hello everyone, and thanks for attending this private screening of The Young Messiah. I'm Paul Lauer from Motive Entertainment. I'm sure you were moved by this powerful story, and in a moment, I know you'll also be moved by the stories behind the story in an exclusive behind the scenes video. Hi, I'm Cyrus Narasta, the director of this movie, and I'm happy to share this piece with you. And action. As a follower of Christ, making this movie has been the most humbling experience of my career. When I first heard the idea, Jesus as a child, coming to the realization of who he is, I thought that's never been done. What was Jesus' childhood like? I mean, to be able to show him as a child and humanize him so that hopefully people can relate to him, including children. <laughs> I actually felt a tremendous responsibility to portray Jesus as biblically consistent a way as possible. I was really intrigued by the human element of the script. I had never read anything like this before. Jesus is on the cusp of realizing exactly who he is and what his place is in the world. I think that's fascinating. My job is to just immerse the audience, first and foremost, in this world, to grab their attention and take them on a journey. I felt we're recreating the Holy Family. I want the audience to believe this is them. And I felt, you know what, we should cast, the, cast this with unknowns. Uh, casting the Son of God is indeed a big challenge. We probably had over 2,000 auditions for this role. And there's not a lot of seven-year-olds out there who have a lot of acting experience. I remember the first phone call I got was from the casting agent in London who said, we just had a child come in here who made the hair stand up on the back of our heads. He came into the room. It was immediately and powerfully evident to me that he was a very special young boy. Well, to, to me, I don't think about it's Jesus. I think I'm a normal, I'm a boy that can do good. I think I uh, sometimes wonder if once he's older, when he'll watch this movie again, if what he'll be thinking, what, you know, how, if he'll remember what he was thinking when he was here and if he really understood what was happening. Casting uh, Mary is almost as daunting a challenge as casting young Jesus. When we're doing a movie and we're, doing, we're shooting scenes, she has to work in the moment as, as a mother as a caretaker, as a protector. It's portraying one of the most important families and famous families of, of the world, but kind of detaching from it, it's like an archetype of, of parents trying to make the best decisions and taking care of their children. So I'm watching this guy auditioning for Joseph and I'm hearing this Mary and I, I remember saying to Betsy, I said, who's that Mary? She's got, she's dead on. And then I saw her and I thought, wow. There's a part of you wants to fulfill an image that perhaps people would like to see, but at the same time I see that with the script, I am entitled to, to step away from that and actually leave that out for this time round. So she read for the part, but you know, it's a mix and match kind of thing. You want to make sure that the people you're picking for this incredible, iconic couple are going to fit, that it's going to be a good match. And then it was a matter of finding Joseph. I think Joseph has been sort of, I don't know, misportrayed in a, a lot of movies in the past. He's kind of just wallpaper. The role of the roles that we're playing in this, I mean, it's, uh, people are going to be really watching how they're portrayed. We wanted a Joseph that I believe would be this man. And I felt like Vincent Walsh looked to me like a protector like a rock, like a very accessible guy. But at the same time, he has to be very sensitive. We, we have to have a kind of really human side to this character as well as a strong, the strong iconic side. These people, we have to make them real. And once you do that, then I think that's kind of half the battle. I'm very happy with Vincent and with Sarah. I think they're terrific. I think they're terrific together. Vince is, um an incredible man and an incredible actor. Um, there's a great chemistry. I sometimes rely on him, like I lock eyes with him and I know everything will be fine because we're in this together, in every way, <laughs> as actors and as characters. 
So the Roman who is hired by Herod is named Severus. He's a Roman centurion, and he's not particularly excited by the prospect of going out and having to find a seven-year-old boy and kill him. When we were writing the script, I, I, I wanted Sean Bean from day one. You could have offered me any other actor in the world, and I would have said, Sean's the part. He's a good man, and he's, he's a you know, he's a, he's a courageous man. He's, he's kind of battled hard, and he's a veteran of many, many battles. And uh, so he's kind of seen it all before. And um, you know, having to, uh, to having to answer to a madman is not really his cup of tea. You know, it's not really what he wants to be doing. But he's, as I said, he's a soldier and he's under orders. But um, you can see that there's, there's obviously compassion in, in the man, and and, uh, and he, he recognizes the truth and uh, the honesty and the. And the just the sheer truth when he sees it. I think we all can relate to Severus in a way because I think we all know the darkness in our hearts. And Jesus, somehow Jesus gets to him uh, as only Jesus can and he turns his heart. It's been, it's been fascinating finding out what were the, the emotions and, the, and feelings about these characters and what they have. There's not a great deal of words. Well, I certainly haven't got a lot, but that's the way I like it, really. <laughs> I thought he was extraordinary on set, and, I, and I'm sitting there and I'm watching him perform and watching him act. But uh, when I later looked at the dailies and saw the scenes cut, I realized there were even layers there that I wasn't seeing live. I think he's a tremendous actor, and I loved working with him. I think it's always a challenge doing a faith-based movie. For me, it was about, okay, am I the right person to do this? But God works in mysterious ways and raises us up beyond what we think we're even capable of. And I certainly think that's what's happened here. Good. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. It's a full meal of faith and good story and excitement and drama, the whole package. And I want people to be tremendously moved by the experience and meet with their friends and talk about it with their family and talk about the experience and talk about how it affects the later life of Jesus and what the experience meant to them. I just hope they feel full. I hope they walk out of this movie feeling both intellectually, spiritually, emotionally, artistically fed. We're seeing an amazing thing happening in Hollywood with more movies than ever about faith and about God. You may not realize it, but you, the audience, are the star of these movies. Because without you, none of these movies would succeed. Please remember to tell everyone you know about The Young Messiah. You can send an email to your email list and post in your social media. And you can find email and social media tools and lots of other resources at youngmessiahresources.com. Thank you.